Hi there. Those who subscribe to my channel will already know that I'm a big fan of the Topaz range of photo processing tools. In fact, these Topaz tools are currently the only apps I personally recommend because in my opinion, there are no better, easier to use, time-saving products available on the market today. Now, I've already made a video featuring the recent amazing update of the Photo AI app, which allows you to adjust sharpness and noise seamlessly. Plus, you can upscale your images up to 600% without loss of quality. In fact, the AI software will actually improve the quality automatically. And I've placed a link to this video below, so don't forget to check out just how good this software is. However, I bring further good news from Topaz. Now, I'm one of many beta testers working with Topaz to develop the best quality and usability for their apps. And Topaz have just sent me a beta update for Photo AI. Now I'm going to test and report any problems or bugs that I might find in the software, but there's also an opportunity for testers to suggest any improvements needed to make the new features perfect. This beta update features two new tools for adjustments to exposure and white balance. This means that all five of the most used adjustments made by the majority of photographers processing their images can all be made in one app. You can bring your RAW or JPEG files into Photo AI and adjust exposure, white balance, sharpness, noise, and then upscale all in one app. And literally in seconds, you can save a fully processed image back to your desktop without taking it into any other apps to finish it off. And once beta testing is completed, Topaz will add these amazing new features in a future general update for everyone to enjoy. So today, I'm giving you a sneak preview of the future of Topaz Photo AI. Hi, I'm Ken Hatfield. Welcome to my Better Photography channel. Okay, now uh, on my desktop here is the latest beta test version of Topaz Photo AI. And what I've done already is that you see it to the right here, I've actually already uh, uploaded a couple of images I'm going to share with you today. You do that by just either browsing images here uh, or drag and drop them directly from your desktop. So uh, let's go and pick up the first image, which is a wildlife image. And if you looked at the previous video that I've done, you'll notice there's some additional tools here. that you adjust exposure and you adjust white balance. They are the new tools that I'm going to demonstrate to you a little later. But what I want to do first of all, for those who haven't seen the previous video, is do a very quick tour around the platform to show you how you use it, show you the tools so that you'll better understand the usage of these new tools that they're offering in the new updated version. So what you may have noticed is that there's a preview here and what it's saying with this little green light is that this preview has updated the image. That means the image has come in and on autopilot, Topaz have actually analyzed the image against millions of others sort out what needs to be done to make it a better image and if you look down to the panel down here you'll see there's a little green light there that's the only thing it felt it needed to apply to the image to actually make it a better image uh, so it's quite happy that the sharpening's okay and that it doesn't need upscaling if i brought a small image in here it would have automatically upscaled it to a more usable image which is brilliant so let's just look at this at a larger size let's go 400 percent and then you can start to see what it's done with the noise. Now, if you click anywhere on the image, it'll actually show you the original and then the adjustment that it's made. That's the original and that's the adjusted image. The original, as you can see, a fair bit of noise around on there. It's taken that noise out. And of course, it looks a little blurry because it's it's blown up to 400%. But if you take it down to the original size of 100%, that is nice and sharp and is now has no noise. You can make additional adjustments. You can upscale it if you want. I wouldn't suggest that you should do that for this one. If you want to check on these tools here, go back and look at the original video I did explaining the full usage of this. And as I mentioned earlier, I have put a link below so you can go and check that out and see exactly how to use this. But you know, on the original version, we've got the removing noise and the sharpen. You can manually sharpen it by toggling that slider and you can make 
other adjustments uh, with different AI models and these are models that you can click on one by one and they will give you different strengths of sharpening and you can also make an adjustment below on the strength and any minor denoising that you have to do if you add a little bit of extra sharpness you may get more noise of course so it's fully adjustable which is excellent for someone who's looking to get all his work done in one app and not have to jump back and forward from one app to the other. Initially, when I bring an image in, I bring it into Camera Raw, I then do some adjustments here, I go into Photoshop, I do adjustments here, I might want to crop, I might want to do some various colour adjustments, and then I usually take it into Topaz Sharpen. If I add sharpening there, that adds a bit of noise, so you go into Topaz Denoise, and you can see what I'm talking about here. You can spend a lot of time on one image. This is a great thing, because I can come in here, and I can do everything in one app and adding these two additional features means that i don't even need to go into camera raw i don't need to take it to, to photoshop i can do everything in the app send it back and i can even do batch processing i've got lots of similar images i can make the adjustments on one and apply it to all the images that i've uploaded which is brilliant for wedding photography where you do have a lot of similar images however let's go back to the the image in hand and uh, as you can see it's done a good job there it's taken the noise out. I'm going to go with the recommendation with from Topaz. That's all that this image actually needs to be done. And I would then go to the bottom. I would save the image back to whatever file I want to save it to. I'm not going to save it at the moment because I want to show you the second image. So I'm going to come out of there, close the image off. I'm not going to save it. And now I have the second image. The second image is one of our lovely happy wedding photographs. A beautiful image of this couple sharing the most wonderful moment and as you can see it's actually working at the moment it's going to take a little bit longer and if you look down here you'll see it has applied noise removal sharpening and it's also recovered detail on the faces again you can toggle them off if you want and also you can actually use these other tools to refine that to how you want the image to look so you, it doesn't take the control away from you it actually adds additional controls so that you can make whatever adjustments you feel you need to bring it to what you would like in your mind's eye so if we look up here the again the subject here put, shows you that the the mask that it's applied now it's done a really kind of good job there apart from the fact it seemed to have missed a little bit around his jaw there so what we do is we click on subject it then gives me an opportunity to refine the mask and it's quite simple add or subtract couldn't be easier the regular brush there is what i would normally use there is an ai brush i haven't found that to be very successful you may want to try it it probably will get better but for me i prefer to have complete control so you can adjust the brush size with the slider or you can simply just use uh, the bracket button and uh, bring that size down and then all you do when actually here is adding to the mask and we just simply paint in the remainder of the adjustment there and then that will apply these adjustments to that area only so if we go to apply that's applied the adjustment now it's now again see it's, it's working up here you, it, you need to wait till that preview button goes green now that may take a little bit more time on your computer than mine i've got a very fast processor it may be it take a little while so don't think that it's not working just keep checking up here where the preview box is to make sure that it's done its job and here let's have a look at this that's the before and that's the after i'm going to zoom that in because you've got to see this to believe it Right, let's go right in, okay. That's the before, and that's the after. <laughs> uh, I never tire of looking at this. It's such a brilliant tool. You know, I've spent a few minutes explaining how this works. Can you imagine if you're bringing your images in here and you didn't have to do the explanation? That would be gone, and I've done another five by the time that you know we reached this point in time. So... It is just incredible. Now then, let's look at the new tools. One of the things that the beta reviewers have been asking for is uh, something that will allow us to change exposure and white balance. Reason being is that's something that uh, we do a lot of when we're photo processing. And they've listened and they've actually placed these tools into the program. Let's just look at the just exposure and you can uh, toggle this on and off, obviously. And what you can see here is, let's toggle it off. There's the original, and that's 
there. It's got to it'll take a second there. But it hasn't it done a good job there. It's brought the uh, shadows up a wee bit. So let's go back. That's the before. That's the and this is after. Uh, maybe a bit too much for me. There's a wee bit, a bit of too much colour there for me. Again, we can come down and we can adjust the strength of that. I might bring that down just a little tad. Again, it is working up here at the process, so don't be worried if it doesn't happen immediately. It takes a little while to redo the image. But look at that. That It's just brought the shadows out and just made that so much better in my eye. And then we uh, have the white balance here. I'm going to tip uh, the exposure off for a minute so you get the best effect. So there we go, we'll adjust the white balance again. It's having a think up here, and it's going to come in, and that's the before, and that's the after. So add just exposure, put the whole thing together, and as you can see, that image is popping. It is incredible. Goodbye Photoshop for most of my images where I need to do these adjustments. I don't need to go and hop from one program to the other to do these adjustments. They're all there. All together, the five adjustments that are most used by any photographer when they're processing the photos are all covered. And it's going to make a big difference to an awful lot of people, especially those who do a lot of images. Now, before I go, I've just had notification today that Topaz are about to launch in a couple of weeks' time a brand new version of Topaz Photo AI. Now, I don't know whether this is going to be the launch of these two new tools or whether there's something else pending. One thing you can depend upon, I will get notification before everyone else and I will do a YouTube video to demonstrate whatever new thing they're going to bring out. I can't wait myself, I'm quite excited. Uh, but I will bring it to you, I'll demonstrate it to you so you can make your mind up whether this tool is going to be perfect for your photo processing. But until then, see you next time on the Better Photography Channel.